What's up everybody? Today I got another really special car. I got a 2012 E92 M3. Uh, this car kind of fits somewhere in between a track car and a street car, um, which is kind of the best way to have it. You can have it, have fun with it whenever you want. Uh, I got the owner with me, Louie. Hi guys. And uh, he's going to kind of give us a rundown of what's on the car and just what he's got. So what do you got on your car, Louie? Uh, so far pretty much like supposed to be full bolt on. But now um, everything like back to start. So uh, I've got the DGR uh, racing suspensions and the um, stop tag ST60 uh, BBK uh, because they perform. I mean, I like their performance. They're pretty good, and that's the uh, you know best bang for your buck. Uh, big calipers and then TE37 um, racing wheels. What, what size are your calipers? I was looking at that earlier and I forgot to uh, ask you earlier. What size are the calipers? Yeah, I believe they're like uh, 380. Okay. Yeah. It's kind of dark in the video, but I got some pictures I'll uh, put on later. Right. And what were you saying about your wheels? Uh, TE37, um, 19 inch, um, 9.5 and 10.5. Okay. Weird. And I'm a little bit regret, you know, I should have gone with the 18 inch instead because they handles better, lighter, uh, cheaper tires, more options. Hey, so. maybe a future upgrade. Right. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> you never know. And, might change uh, them out. Right. And wheels are one of the things that people change all the time. So I've seen cars that in the course of a year will have three different wheels on it. Maybe you'll get different wheels at some point. Right. Thank you. And uh, all Trooper AR, they're very grippy. Um, really nice tires. I love them. And um, Lamin X, uh, yellow headlights, final. Um, that way you can see that. Ray was uh, driving before, uh, driving behind me on our way over here, and even in the middle of the daylight with his normal driving lights on, they're still really bright, and they just they stand out really well. So yellow lights definitely make a difference. Yeah, some cuffs might pull you over, but they're absolutely legal. So you have to talk to your lawyer, you know, like go to the court. <laughs> Do some people question the legality of that? Yeah, they do. Oh, yes. I didn't know that. Yeah, but you know, it's, it's absolutely legal as long as you're not running blue, green, and you know, red color headlights. I know that, that blue and red lights are highly illegal just because cops, that makes sense. But I never heard anything about yellow lights before. Yeah, so they're pretty good, you know, okay. better for your visibility. Helps yeah. you stand out a little more. Yeah, stands out, St stands out a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so what else you got going on in the front? Uh, the front, I've got the uh, replica, like GT4, a uh, couple hundred dollars replica uh, front lift, and the uh, Make in Germany Hanot from um, Bernhardt Engineering, uh, shipped from Germany. And then the, uh, what's that called, reflector? Yeah, I just yeah, noticed that you put the carbon, yeah. carbon delete on the reflector. That's actually pretty cool. Right. I spread it in the orange. Yeah, I, I didn't notice that. I took some pictures earlier on this and I didn't notice that. A funny story about taking pictures earlier. This is actually our third location. We went to one really, really cool spot to start taking pictures and filming, and security kicked us out right away. Then we went to another really cool spot, which is where all the pictures you're gonna see are probably gonna be from that spot. And uh, got a bunch of cool pictures, and just, far, just about to start doing a video like this, and it started raining right away. Tried waiting it out, and it didn't get any better, so now we're here at our third spot, where it's covered, and we don't gotta worry about rain. But yeah, when I was taking pictures earlier, I didn't notice that you had the carbon delete there. Right. <laughs> and the uh, Turner Motorsport um, tow hook strap right here. It's like weight reduction and protect your paint. You know, you don't hit your paint yeah. while you're like going crazy at the track. And the uh, cover, so there's a cutout, so you can stick it out. Okay. Yeah. So when you need it, there you go. Yep. You Hopefully need you never need it though. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> So tell me a little bit about your uh, your interior. I mean, I've noticed that you got, technically you got three seats, but you really right. only have one seat. Right. So I, I'm actually single, so um, school the girls. No, just kidding. <laughs> He's single, keep that in mind. <laughs> right, and uh, forever alone, right? <laughs> and um, yeah, I removed my uh, back seats like a while back ago, but I put them back on uh, because they look better maybe. And um, fire extinguisher, just in case, you know, sometimes your car overheated at the track, you might need it. But I'm glad it's not a supercharged uh, M3, otherwise it'll be a lot faster, like overheated, you know, at the track. And they still overheated, anyways. And um, RTD, shifter from um, Nebelon. Uh, a little dark, I'll get some pictures okay. on it later. Yeah, and the uh, HDR OMP um, 
competition seat. It holds you better, so you don't go anywhere at the track. Just like you know, Ray. Yeah. Uh, Ray, who uh, who I'll put a little link in the description. But uh, Ray, as he mentioning, is how, actually how I met this guy. I did a video on Ray's really, really clean E46 M3. And then following his Instagram profile is actually how I found Louie. <laughs> and it's kind of funny, you know, I've noticed so far, almost all people that I've reached out to that I want to film their car, everybody with a BMW has said, yeah, let's do it. It's kind of a funny thing. Almost all BMW people are really, really down and helpful. And if you have questions, they just say, yeah. It's kind of funny. Yeah. So tell me a little bit about your uh, your cage that you got going on. Oh yeah, uh, actually um, it's my buddy's shop in LA, South Cal. It's called Studio RSR. Um, at first they like they only got a few customers, you know, at the beginning. But um, right now they're pretty big right now. <laughs> so um, yeah, it's in Los Angeles. Studio RSR, good cage. Uh, it's a holding cage, uh, four points. I love them. Painted it in white. So I noticed that you got straps for another seat, right? But you don't have another seat, right? Supposed to be a seat right there, but uh, I took it out and I sold it. Okay. So only got one seat right now. You gonna pull your straps, or you just gonna leave them? Uh probably gotta sell it to someone else. Okay. Yeah, I've got an extra, um, extra okay. pair of. Uh, and then you got the, got the tank just in case you need it, right? <laughs> Hopefully he never needs it, yep. but if you do track a car, it is good to have it just in case. Yeah. Safety first. Yeah. <laughs> so yep. I was asking you earlier, tell me about your wing. So this is not a, this is not a normal bolt-on wing to your, your, your bumper, right? Yeah, well, this is actually uh, one of two uh, BMW Motorsport wing. So IND, they have the other one. Uh, they call it Green Hell, Green Hell wing. They have a Green Hell M3. Okay. Yeah, it looks green, you know, but yeah, so this is the second one. And uh, they're like integrated with the trunk right here so you can uh, see it stay attached. So, okay, I'm not very, very, very familiar with E92 M3s. E46 I know pretty well. On the competition pack, did it come with a carbon fiber trunk? Uh, or not did... really though. Yeah, you have to get it off the market. Okay. Yeah. So then you did you did the carbon fiber in here on your on your own. Yeah, I bought the trunk, carbon fiber. Okay. Then uh, actually, it's my buddy, one of my buddy. You know, uh, he sold me his wing. So. Yeah. so, so do you have carbon anywhere else on this car? I see that you got a carbon fiber trunk right here. Do you got any hiding anywhere else on this? Oh yeah, uh, the diffuser, the uh, rear diffuser, and um, side skirts. Yeah, it's pretty much uh, the mirror caps and the uh, roof. Comes with it uh, because it was a competition package, and then optioned it. This is a very nice little toy car. You can street it, you can track it. Right. <laughs> uh, do you know how much power you're running? You said you've done a couple bolt-ons, right? Right. So it's not that much because you know NA. So probably like 20, I would say, because five horsepower is a lot actually. Yeah. So some people claims that they're like, uh, I, I gained 18, 30, 40 horses. So that, that is BS because NA, they don't make that much of them. No. Yeah, it, un, 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 unless you're running like E85, full bolt on. So that's another story, maybe 20, you know. If you're gonna be gaining 30, 40, 50 horsepower from bolt-ons, you're probably doing more than bolt-ons. <laughs> uh, you're, you're tearing the engine apart, you're doing other things. Just bolt-ons, probably not gonna get you that much on an on normally aspirated at least. You get something turbo, you do intake and exhaust and you gain quite a bit, but normally aspirated, it's not as much as people usually say. Yeah. Keep that in mind. Right, and the weight reduction is really important because the OEM seat, they are like almost close to 100 pounds per seat. So if you remove two seats, your car will be a lot faster, trust me. I actually, it's funny, it's funny that you mentioned that. I actually saw a video with somebody that uh, helped design um, race cars. I think it was for Porsche, I forget. Mm -hmm. I forget exactly who he was with. But he said weight reduction is one of the one of the most important things, not just for power, but for braking as well. It helps you stop quicker. But as far as power goes, every hundred pounds that you remove from a car is almost equivalent to adding about ten horsepower to the car. But in addition to that, it does help you brake quicker as well. So weight reduction is something that people very, very often um, underestimate the value of. So good to keep in mind. Yeah, and the S two thousand, you know, Miata, they're much faster at the track. You know, super lightweight. 
M3 to me is still pretty heavy. I might do something else. I you know take out every day, got yeah. the car, strip it. Have so, have you weighed your car by any chance uh, uh, after you've done some things to it? Maybe maybe next month. You know, I'll try to weigh okay. my car and see you know how much I can get right there. I'm right curious there. with with adding the cage but removing your seats and everything. I'm just curious what you're running compared to stock. Right. Probably somewhere about e even actually by adding the cage. Oh yeah, know? because it's like close to 100 pounds already. The, yeah. The body cage. Half so cage. you're actually probably close to even, which is <laughs> pretty good actually. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. And then I'll try to do the full cage. You know. If I have a chance, I, you know, save up some more money, but yeah, maybe someday. <laughs> yeah, I will see. So, and, oh, sorry, go ahead. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I was gonna say, other than uh, possibly going full cage, and I was joking, but you never know. Maybe changing the wheels. Do you have anything else that you might want to do in the future? Any other changes? Mm, so far, yes. I pretty much it. Like probably take all the interior out. Okay. Yeah, that is what I'm gonna do, and the arrow catch as well. Okay. So like attach with the hood. So. Oh, yeah. I was actually asking you this earlier. You said that you might do a carbon delete for the rear seats, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, that will definitely save a ton of weight. Right, probably 30, 40 pounds with, like, the door panels. You know, yeah. I'm going to take the door panels out. Probably 30 pounds with everything. Which adds up quite a bit. Yeah, a, a little bit faster. Yeah. Be. I've actually seen some people make some pretty cool uh, carbon... Uh, door cards for E92s mm -hmm. that actually look really cool. They have kind of like a OEM styling, uh, like the shape and everything, but it's all carbon. It's just got kind of a cool look to it. But right, and also the uh, 999 racing uh, from Japan Project Mule. Okay, they're super super good trap pads. Okay, yeah, so they're hella grippy. They mix a lot of noises, but you know, yeah, it's, it's uh, good to try. Race cars <laughs> make noise. Yeah. <laughs> Cars make noise, this is how yes. it is. Yeah, and negative three camber up front and uh, 2.8 in the rear. And um, differential from Diffs Online. Yeah, they're pretty good. Faster response, bulletproof. So it kind of almost, minus the cage and the seat, it almost looks like you haven't really done too much, mm. but underneath everything, you've really done a lot. Right, <laughs> pretty much everything. Yeah. So are you kind of trying to build a sleeper a little bit? Right. <laughs> Stay away from the troubles, you know. Yeah. I mean, it definitely looks like you've done things. You got wheels, you got a cage, you got a big wing. Right. But it doesn't like stand out like I've done a ton, but you actually have. You said you changed your diff. Yeah, everything. Yeah. Yeah, warp bearings, you know, of course. One last thing I forgot to ask you about. Uh, what is What kind of exhaust you got? What do you, you run on your exhaust? Oh, that's the uh, Mick in Germany uh, Iceman Race Black Series exhaust. So okay. they're, they're actually pretty quiet, try to be like, you know, law enforcement friendly. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty quiet, but if you're for it, it's gonna be hella loud. It really opens up. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed when we were driving over here, um, I could hear it a little bit behind me. I had my windows down and I could hear it a little bit, but not that much. I was kind of surprised that it's actually pretty tame. Right. But when you open it up, then it really opens up. Right, if you want it to be loud, it can be loud. If you want it to be quiet, you know, it can be quiet. So it's pretty good. Kind of, kind of goes with the whole Kind of track car, kind of street car, kind of somewhere in the middle. It's right. kind of the whole vibe of this car, actually. Which right. is, just kind of fits in pretty well. Hey, Louis, once you get some more stuff done, let me film the car again. Let me take some pictures again and uh, just kind of see like the process, see like how it goes over time. Sure. See how it evolves. Um, I like taking pictures of stuff and then taking pictures again like a year later and seeing what has changed, what's evolved. Maybe he's changed the wheels. Right. <laughs> uh, maybe not. You never know. Yeah. But hey, Louis. Thanks for coming Thank out. You. Appreciate it. And I'm going to have a link to his stuff in the description. And uh, I got more videos coming soon. Peace out.